let me show you how to make your cursor do this. In VS Code. What's up everyone. If you're new to the channel, my name is James Hugh Quick and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. And a lot of what I do is VS Code topics. And I've gotten this question a lot. How do you make your cursor blink like that in VS Code? Well, I would have thought it was pretty obvious, but since I've gotten this question many times, I figured I would make this really short video. So let me show you how to do it right now. All right, so I've got VS Code open here. This is actually the source code for my new podcast, Compressed FM, which you should check out. But inside of here, my cursor is uh, pretty bland. It's just kind of solid, it's just sitting there. Well, if you open up your settings in VS Code, you can go to this wheel over here on the bottom left and then open up the settings. You can also on Mac do Command, comma, or on Windows, Control, comma, to open that up. But let's click on this, let's open it up, let's search for cursor. And inside of here, there's a cursor blinking. And then now it's just a drop down of different styles that you can use. Uh, so if we come down to blink, that's kind of what we've been asking for so far. So let's go over. We should see this thing blinking now. Pretty neat, pretty easy. And then a couple of other options that I like the expand. This is where it kind of starts in the middle and then kind of expands. Or maybe it's the opposite. It like D expands, whatever the reverse of that. I don't know. But it goes back and forth, kind of opening and closing like that. And then what that's the one I usually use. And then I don't know, I don't even know what phase is. Let's see. Yeah, that looks just like a blink. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But let's go back to my normal one, which is the expand. And I think the moral of the story, obviously, this is a super small, super short video. But I think the moral of the story is if you have questions about customization inside of VS Code, the first place to look is inside of settings. You can find probably everything you need to know about settings inside of the settings tab. And there's probably a simple setting like a drop down or a number input or something like that for you to configure it and have it work for what you're looking for. Uh, anyway, I hope this little tip helped you really short. Again, if you're interested, I've got a free cheat sheet for VS Code, so you can check that out with a link above. But thanks, as always, for checking in, watching the video. Appreciate it. I'll catch you next time.